Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and uh, it's that time of the month. We qualify for the Mythic Invitational Qualifier Tournament. We got here by finishing 556 on the Mythic Ladder last month with some 9 lives prison in Historic Best of 1. Uh, notably, this format is best of 3, so the 9 lives can't make their appearance here. Uh, so a deck that uh, myself and fellow streamer Jaffer MTG have been working on is a Gruul Aggro deck. Um, so Gruul is generally known with like the Burning Tree Emissary drops to get a lot of one drop, uh, sorry, two drops out there, and then you eventually finish off your opponent with an Ember Cleave. Uh, added in this list, we do have Collected Company to fetch our creatures. Um, some notable additions to this particular list: uh, Voltaic Brawler instead of the Gruul. Uh, like goblin guy I like the trample that this provides as well as if you go pelt collector on one burning tree on two and then voltaic brawler this becomes a three three uh, similar with that but I like the trample this provides and also it attacks as a four power um, we are playing two ferocidons main uh, this is a way to shut off life gain from your opponent like we see in salt eye but also a way against goblins to kind of force them in a position where they can't go off as wide with like a Cranko draw. Uh, Kazandu Mammoth serves the purpose as both lands and creatures for collected company hits. Uh, and then utility lands, we have some Shatter Skull Smashing and Ra Ramanat Bruins as ways to kind of use our lands and our spells effectively. Uh, the sideboard, we have a Claim of the Firstborn versus uh, like bigger stompy decks, the Mirror or Auras. Uh, Magma Sprays for like the more aggressive decks, uh, claim like sack decks, stuff like that. Four Braids, very good against a format with like Paradox Engine, but also good against like Catavan decks, uh, even the Mirror to some extent. A uh, Thundering Rebuke was something we wanted to include to have an answer to uh, four toughness creatures, um, with the upside that this particular one also hits Planeswalkers, so we could bring it in in the blue white matchup and then at least have it to be able to target like a Teferi or something. Um, for Graveyard Hate, we have a split of 3 Scavenging Ooze, 1 Clothis. Clothis being a little bit harder to remove, but Scavenging Ooze being able to more quickly uh, hit your opponent's Graveyard stuff. We have Cinder Vines coming in. Uh, again, good for the Auras matchup, good for the Paradox Engine matchups. And then just against like Blue-White Control or Salti even, just incidental damage while we put pressure has been pretty good. Uh, and then 2 Chandra Torches Defiance for the Grindier matchups where we need card advantage. So let's play this out. The format is uh, seven wins before you get to three losses. So I will probably not talk as much as I normally would. We'll see how it goes. But um, take some breaks in between. Probably we might split this video up into a couple sections. Um, but let's go. Last two ones I didn't do too well. I think the best I've done is four wins at one of these. Uh, you end up like a mana, you miss mana one turn. Uh, these are all really good players, so playing first is good here. Uh, we're gonna keep this hand. And I think we go, we set up the Kazandu Mammoth on turn two. Because Spellbreaker has haste. Second line of where else a little awkward, but that's fine. You generally always want the games with Elf on one. Okay, Salt Eye Gamer. Uh, still think we do this. This hand's really bad against Extinction Event. So I'd probably take the Spellbreaker here. Could have Fatal Push. So we hit him for six here. I think we have to try to go all in. 
the way our hand's kind of shaped up. They could Fatal Push our Elf. I don't really care at this point. And again, we're playing into Extinction Event. The, ha the way this hand's set up, I can't really play around it. Okay, so they had the push. Well, red source off the top. Galia wouldn't be too bad either. I think the worst draw here is like Uro into a fatal push to hit my Kazandu Mammoth. Bone Crusher is not bad. I just, I don't want to play this out if they have Extinction Event here. They didn't fetch, which means that they might be waiting for a fifth land for Nisa. Also, if they just go Krasis for two here, I could stomp it to attack in. Pulse is fine here. So they get my cleave here. Coco's not bad on the, the flip side. You know what, I should have done this if I hit a haster. We still had... Well, I guess at this point it was only really the Spellbreaker we could have hit, or a Galia. Oh, that's very dangerous for them. Dead? <laughs> yeah. Shut off the life gain, kill him. All right, so this matchup, Clothis, Cinder Vines, Ooze, Chandra's, and Acclaim. Decided to take out a Cleave, take out a Coco, take out Kazandu, take out these Ambush. I'm just trying to see really quick. We did a whole sideboard plan with this. And now I'm trying to remember. One pelt out, two ambush, one galia, four burning tree. And we brought in three ooze, one clothes claim. So we kept the cocos in. And just took out the burning trees. The burning trees are bad late draws. Just do it like that. We kept all the... So the choices between Gallia and the Ember Cleaves, I think we... Probably... Probably take out a galley on the play. No, we'll probably play a galley on the play. And then bring in the cleave on the draw. Sorry, on the draw, play Cal Gallia and then switch it up. The reason being is these decks will usually play Cry of the Carnarium. So going all in on Burning Tree is a less effective way to win the game. Um hand doesn't really put pressure on them but they are a thought seize deck but if they thought seize us here like we're pretty dead i could steal their uro yeah let's try this i'm gonna play this out as just a land if they thought seize it it's pretty bad okay 
So with Chandra and Collected Company, we can probably pivot to a bit more of a grindy game. I'm not going to put out the ooze here. I want the ooze for when I can eat something immediately. Fine, take two damage. Okay, so now I can scavenging use eat this Uro. So not terrible spot. They can easily like fatal push this or kill it. If they go Nisa here. I'm just going to eat their graveyard just for future Uros. Okay, so that's actually really good because now I get to go... Spellbreaker with haste. Take their fetid pool. They have to kill this on their turn. If they're going to cling to dust, that's fine. Especially just to draw a card. I think this turn we, so they can Aether Gust my Cleave, which is probably not worth it. I think we just pass and then let them not use their mana for anything. Hmm. I think we take the three again here. Because they could have Extinction Event. I don't want them to get any value. Because ideally what I want to do is Company, if they have Aether Gust, they use the Aether Gust. And then I can untap Chandra Minus on Fetid Pools. Great. Not great. So I can eat two things in the graveyard. Do we cleave is the question. Probably. I'm doing this here just because they can't interact with it. That puts them to four. They're effectively at two. They need two removal spells here. 
They can technically Uro and escape it, but between Chandra and this, I can kill it. There was a choice to do this to eat up three damage. That thing's loose. So they might cling to dust here. One oh, one oh, let's go. Let's go. Kind of a poor way to take a loss in Mythic. Seeing some names I don't recognize. Okay, so on the draw. Uh, this hand is not playable. This hand is reasonable. I think we actually put the Ember Cleave back just on the play. Okay, they're on Lurus, Arcanist. This hand is not good. Versus this deck. They probably take the Ambush. But if they go Arcanist here on two, I'm in a pretty bad spot. So I'm actually just going to play this out tapped. It gives them the information, but it's a la like my second green source that they can't get rid of. Through thought sees. Oh, are they like sacrifice? That's actually a really good draw. Stomp one of these. Actually, I should have done this now. They're probably on village rights. So I'm doing this now because I want to do it on their end step in case they play something else. Yeah, it looks like they're on village rights. Oh, they have the shade. So we're just going to kill this now. They can get it back. But that's fine. Another Spellbreaker. Mm, I think we just do this this turn. Because these are better with like the instant speed stuff. They kill this and they take two damage. Croxa, it's a tad annoying. Um, if they have like Fatal Push, it's kind of a, uh, bad as well. I think I want this Ambush. Should be better post board. We'll bring in like our graveyard hate. Now they have spark harvest. 
Then that means I could Croxa next turn. Um, so I could Domri's Ambush, or I could play out Llanowar Elf. They're going to play a Croxa. So this plays better if I draw Cleave, which we, we know we have one at the bottom of our deck. This plays better if I draw Bone Crusher Giant. I think we passed the turn. This could be another Spark Harvest out of them. Uh, they just go Village Rights. It's interesting. They could have Croxed, but I guess they want to keep the Shade in their graveyard. So it's like Rakdos Sack. Okay, so here. Let's do this. Play out Brawler. Discard this and then hope to get a stomp. I'm really surprised I didn't just Crocs the last turn. Looking for a cleave, a collected company, a questing beast. Second Domri's ambush. I'm kind of inclined to double block this. Oh shit. Kind of surprised they didn't just claim the Croxa. Oh, top deck. Top deck. So they can lure us here. They need another card in the graveyard for Croxa. They can lure us and then get back like Serrated Scorpion. They can also lure us in Croxa. Got there! Wow, I did not think we were winning that game. Whew. Okay, so Clothis, Scavenging Ooze, and I th think we want all the removal here. Question is, do I want the claim? So they're on a cat oven strategy, so I think we get rid of this. I think we get rid of the burning trees. Get rid of a pelt collector. Get rid of a gallia. Get rid of Kazandu. The game is probably going to go grindy. I do think I want access to all my cleaves in this matchup. Could probably get rid of Thundering Rebuke in this matchup. The claim could be useful against the Croxa, or at least to get blockers out of the way.
Maybe we do it on the play instead of on the draw. Or you know what? Let's do... I guess we could get to the point where just a single cleave. It's a little hard to get in with like thought season stuff. So maybe let's do this. Coco's a live card in this matchup. Maybe we get rid of... So four, how many creatures are we playing? 29, 27? So it's still decent. I think we run this. We didn't have a sideboard guide for this deck. How's chat doing today? Sign to keep. Ferocidon hurts. Hey, Jaffer. What time you, did you already register at least? Salt I went easy, um, which was nice to see. So I'm waiting to do this so I can eat it with the scavenging ooze. Plus this can attack through these things. This could just be fatal push. Village rights. Notably, they don't have red mana at this point. I do think we go Ferocidon next turn. I want to save the ooze for when we see a Croxa. And I'm prioritizing green mana here. Plus they probably have like Noxious Grasp, which they'll have a harder time dealing with this Ferocidon. I think if we get land, we go Coco. Okay, they can fa Fatal Push is turned on now. Okay, Priest is definitely dying. Um, really wanted a line there. So I'm going to wait for them to play out a spell. So they will get Death Touch on this, but if we draw land, then I just play out Ooze. Oh, sorry, I play out Company. If not, I go Spellbreaker here. So that has Menace, that has Death Touch. Probably go Questing Beast here. Let's me attack in better, and then potentially I want to get this death touch off the battlefield. Okay, I don't care about oven because every time it comes in. Okay, so they got their grasp. This lets this attack in. Fuck, that's bad. Because now they get the um, the sack.
maybe company was safer. I think we're dead. They hit us for three. Yeah, we're dead. Once they have the loop going. Okay, so. They have priests. They brought in a lot of removal. So maybe cut claim. Like this is worse verse. Cause I kinda wanna prioritize trample they have the cat oven loops, but we have the abrade thundering rebuke maybe. Yeah, this one's a little tough. The claims kind of put a lot of pressure on us. Galia's fine, but it gets chump blocked. They also have priest. I think we just bring in the removal. Like particularly the burning trees, we don't I don't think we want it in this matchup. Like, I don't want to draw it other than my opener. Okay. We go first. They're probably going to have some removal. Bait it out early with a ooze. It's more the cat too, like we have some creatures with trample, that's why I like even um, Voltaic Brawler, because it lets us attack through the cat. I don't like running out a naked ooze here, but we might just need to for curve purposes. AKG. Thank you. We are 1-0, and uh, this match is 1-1 right now. So for the second match, they have claim. Get this fatal push. Give me a land. Perfect. Just get whatever damage we can get in. They have claim. Give me one more land. That's all I want. One more land. One more land that doesn't come into play tapped. <laughs> Not Kazandu. Anything else. Let's go. Okay. Priest is fine. So, they may try to go the claim my thing, sack it. Like, this isn't as mana efficient. I still think we go collected company here. Because they need a creature and claim. So, they can claim this. That's fine. Think we get rid of Spellbreaker here? Oh, they didn't even go full control there. Two creatures. Two creatures.
That works. Eat their Croxa here. Hmm. So here I could Kazandu and eat their Croxa, or I could Ember Cleave. I think I like eating their Croxa here. And then using the cleave next turn. This shuts off the life gain, but I'm not too concerned with the life gain right now. We're at 16. Yeah, Ferocidon's really good. I've, I've really liked the inclusion main board of two. Okay, that means no black mana. And then whatever they block with the cat gets ember cleaved. Should be game. They have to block Kazandu. That should be good, 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 uh, good, good, good game. Opponent gonna rope me. Gotta give him that good, good. Nice, two oh, two oh. Let's go. Ill Snare, appreciate the follow. How's it going today? Two O qualifier, nice. You just give client a quick reset. I have this fear because uh, two qualifiers ago, my client crashed, and by the time I got timed out. It completely passed my sideboarding turn. Um, so I ended up losing. So now I'm just like completely every game just like we're going to reset the client just to be sure. Welcome everyone. Those just tuning in. We are currently 2-0 in the qualifier weekend. We are playing Historic Rule Aggro. A deck that myself and Jaffer MTG in chat have been working on for the last week or so. Uh, we bet Sultai and Rakdos Sacrifice. Let's go and see how we're doing. This is a pro tournament software, John. Look at this spectator mode. All we need is Twitch. <laughs> uh, can't keep that. Jinganta is probably combo. Okay, we keep this. I think we put Kazandu Mammoth back just because it's a collected company hit. Or Questing Beast. Questing Beast can attack through a lot of their nonsense. Nope. Sacrifice. So this is likely Jund? No, Rakdos. Okay, well, drawing a whole lot of lines here. Kind of wish we kept Kazandu now. Well, I could Coco next turn or I could Questing Beast.
Fire Shoes. Appreciate the follow. Uh, for those of you that don't follow Fire Shoes on Twitter, uh, Robert Taylor, uh, do check him out. Uh, if you ever want to find a deck list that has done anything in any tournament ever, uh, he is the way to go. Got him. All right, this matchup, Clothis, um, no Cinder Vines. Where did I put the Cinder Vines? Get rid of Domri's Ambush. We bring in the Ooze, Abrades, Magma Sprays. Yeah, I don't know why people are attacking into like the most obvious collected companies. Uh, so usually cut that, cut a Gallia, cut the Burning Trees, and cut one Kazandu Mammoth. My wife has just informed me that the banging on my chair is upsetting my dog. <laughs> so I've been politely told to knock that shit off. Um, I think this is a keep. We do have to Kazandu on one. We do have a Braid, which is nice. I can get rid of this. Um, I think the line here is pass, just kill the priest. So here I'm actually gonna get rid of that. Cause this lets me play out my bone crusher and not have it get sacked. I don't care about one point of damage. Wanna play around like a claim here. So if they play out a creature, then I'll uh, stomp one of these in response. Plus, I don't care if Felt Collector dies. It's like the worst of my creatures. It's going to be a resounding no for me. So if they want, they can sack two of these, but I'm happy with that trade. Um, we can spell breaker. I can shatter skull. I can't shatter skull this turn. Honestly, I probably just do do this. If they want to trade there, I'm probably fine with it. We're a little like. We're open to cleave now. Oh, sorry, not to cleave, to claim. So I don't love that position. Yeah, this is where it gets bad. Now they wipe my board. Not having the answer for priest. Maybe we should have just taken both priests out and left the oven. I think we're dead here. Yeah, we're dead. Sorry about that. Arena crashed. Had to restart the client. Killed my OBS. I don't know what's happening now. Let's reset the client again. I'd be really upset if we don't get to play in this game because of Arena. Let's 
and just keep turn three questing beast should hopefully get us there Those just tuning in, we ended up losing game two. They just went off with Priest, couldn't do anything. This game is kill them as quick as possible. Let's go, buddy. Got there. Turn three questing beast. Too much damage. 3-0. KG, does the stream look okay now? And Nikova? We're just gonna exit. I don't understand. Okay, cool. Yeah, Irina, Les... I kept like stuttering my um, like audio card. It was like static and then just everything crashed black screen and then it reloaded with Unity crash. Whew, 3 0, let's go. That audio sounds very delayed, but. Welcome everyone stopping by. We are currently 3 0 in the MIQ. On Gruel Aggro. This hand is a keep. I think we probably stomping grounds next turn. No stomp for one turn. No stomp. Okay, Roberto, that's fine. I'm actually going to stomp Roberto here, I think. I think we go like this. So this makes me make a 3-3. Three, three. I think we do this. Because next turn I could stomp it and play out the elf. I could also, if they attack funny, just play this out and try to smash in for a bunch of damage. Okay, we need to be mindful of the cleave. I think I'm fine taking this. Feels like a good trade for me. Um, I could Kazandu Mammoth. Just put this back as a blocker and then stomp out their combat. So they have it anyways. They have robber. So this takes them off cleave this turn, which is notable. They were kind of hoping to attack with all four, I'm guessing. Um, six, seven... 
8, I could 8 them next turn. I can cleave anyways. Take them off that. Or save 4 damage. Probably save 4 damage here. Got him. Got him! Too big, too fast, too strong. Clothis. Cindervine's actually interesting. Um, okay, so I don't think I want that many cleaves in this matchup. They probably bring in Cage. So let's bring Chandra instead of Company. Um, Pelt Collector, we can trim a couple. I don't like Galley on this matchup. I don't like Ambush. Maybe trim a BTE. Top, oh, uh, Ferocidon needs to come out. So, we can play another Pelt Collector. I just kind of want like all my removal and I want them to have cage being a dead card. Let's run it like that. Getting kind of favorable matchups like with mono red we're just bigger. The sack matchup the fact we've bet two sack decks so far is surprising. I would imagine that be one of our harder matchups. Uh... We have a Bone Crusher, but a red source that deals damage. If they have a Burning Tree drop, then I'm pretty medium against it. Oh, this hand's so much worse. Why? Okay, this hand's good. Um, I think we're doing this. Oh, I gotta put two cards back, shit. Um... Let's go. Yeah, we didn't have a guide for mono red. We didn't think it would be prevalent enough. Okay, if I went on a malt of five. Yeah, we're on the kill everything plan. Hope that works. Okay. I guess if you're going to ball to five, I think the hand you want to see is quad a braid. Well, that's a good card if we can ever hit our lands. We're gruel control today. We're gonna get there. So we might see them ember cleave here on the token. Actually, you know what? I should have just gotten rid of the ember cleave, taking the one damage. Yeah, I was in autopilot in my head. I shouldn't have done that. I should have got rid of the cleave. But I feel like their hand was kind of multiples.
Can I get a land? Like, my hand is gas if we draw a land. Annex. Kill this. They don't get the equipped. Ah! Yeah, I screwed that up. Because then I could have blocked here. To be fair, the fact I'm this much in it, like this was a crazy multi five hand. They equipped here. I need this line for Chandra this turn. We're taking a lot of damage. Because if I don't hit it, we're basically dead on board. It's not great. That's seven, they hit us for 10, we take three damage. We're dead if they have like a braid or anything, which they probably do. Chain Whirler. Actually, is lethal. They hit for 16. Yeah. Ah. So we should have hit Cleave. Maybe we keep a claim in on the play. Trim a Kazandu. I'm surprised we even put up that well of a fight on a Malta 5. <sighs> okay, this is a keep. Let's put back. You. No BTE this turn, just like a stomp. That's fine. Land. This could just be Bone Crusher. Land. This is really annoying. Chandra like down tick here. God, could we just like draw land this game? We're gonna get cleaved here. Whirly boy. I think we do this trade. It's not great, but I think we want to take them off here. So if I plus it goes to five, I could stomp one of these. That's four damage, plus they can just do that to Anthem it. 
I think we just do this. Like that play takes them off potentially playing another, but if they just have any like haste threat, it also does it. No, oh, that's like worst case. Yeah, I don't think I could come back from here. We missed line too many turns. They have their established board state. Okay, well, Brawler is a thing. Problem is they have three Bone Crushers. Probably just block here. Don't think we could race them here. Let's do this. They can I can do the trade, but they have to spend their mana and they can't cast a bone crusher this turn. Which honestly is okay with me. I kind of just want to do... Let's just do this. They can go double Bone Crusher here, which is kind of annoying. A land would actually be pretty decent here, because then I can kill one, block one. Okay, cool. Not out of the woods yet. But we're getting closer. We dead. We dead. Couldn't hit a land to save our lives that game. This match was probably favorable too. Three one. Let's go. Nah, like, like multiple games in that set we had, like, if we hit the land, the mulligan to five hurts. Six shouldn't be, like, game-breaking. But, like, what is this? Okay, well, we're going to keep this. We're going to put the ruins back, I think. Hope we draw something decent. Yeah, the cleave probably came came to bite us in the butt. Rogues. Nah, just get this out here. Just try to curve out against them. Be interesting to see what they take here. They can mess up my curve, or they can take one of my bigger threats. Yeah, they might have enough disruption. Just with like cheap counter spells and stuff, they're gonna get four Aether Gusts sideboard, is my guess. Yeah, they get Thought Thief here. I do get to go Questing Beast. Stomp's relevant as well, which is nice. Just 
keeping this back in case they had um So full mana thirst there. If we draw land, we cleave them. But we take six here. Honestly, we... Mm, no, we probably here... Just kill this, bring out more power. Because Cleave only does six there. But then we're taking six on the snapback. Post board will get a lot more removal. This kind of keeps them back on blockers as well. They know that we have the Cleave. Okay, they're getting a little aggressive with it. Be interesting if they bring in Cage against us. Nighthawk Scavenger. That's fine because I can cleave through it. Rogues is a powerhouse in the format. Do they have unsummon? Look, if they have unsummon, they beat us with unsummon. Got him. Oh, spell pierce is actually a good call, Titans. Clothis. Probably want like all the removal. Um, do I want scavenging ooze? Okay, so these Ferocidons could probably come out. Cut a Kazandu Mammoth. Don't like Domri's Ambush. Probably trim on a Collected Company. Trim on a Cleave on the play. I think I like the scavenging oozes more. Cut down a BTE. Uh, what are the chances they bring in Cage against us? Mega Spray could be relevant. Just bring in Scavenging Goose. BTE, like, doesn't attack well, this one. Finally, a land with hands, or a hand with lands. I'm all backwards today. Probably go, oh yeah, we're gonna stomp that. Um, do we stomp it now or do I just get out some power? Honestly, I think we just get out some power and then kill it the next turn.
The reason I like Spellbreaker here is because it's going to make them forced to spend mana to kill it on their turn, which can get around like Aether Gust and stuff. It hits for more. Yeah, it's true. Titans. This is the more mana efficient line. Hitting for one doesn't make it much different. Um, so here... We probably want second red. Or honestly, we're probably second green right now. Probably just go ooze here. Ooze will give them, like, if they have a counter spell, they're probably going to want to get rid of this ooze. Okay, so I'm putting this on top. I know that they can mill it but I kind of want them to attack in with this. It gives me pretty good value if they do that. Um, Here I can double spell. Then follow it up with like scavenging use the following turn. I don't know if they'd play Extinction Event. It seems kind of odd. Plus, if they name. Sec. Got there. Opponent made a choice with their deck today. That choice was the wrong one. Four and one. Let's update the clickbait streamer title. Smash the competition. Uh, let me give the client a reset and we'll go. Uh, I lost to mono red where I mulled to five and then drew four braids, magma spray, and had a bunch of answers, but then I incorrectly abraded their creature instead of a braid, the ember cleave. And then game four, the third game of that set, I mulled to six, had two lands, and then never saw another land until they were just too far ahead they also drew four bone crushers that game i bet two rakdos i bet mono red no it's two rakdos what we just play rogues and sultai John's too good. He's he's not even focusing on this one. He's already uh, looking at Kaldheim. Watsi's going to send them the god sheet of all the spoilers ahead of time so he can start planning his unbeatable deck. Okay, Luris, not Auras, please. Well, we're going with an aggressive hand. Not be Auras, please. Okay, not Auras. We're going to get Thought Seized. What do you take here? You take my Collected Company or you take my Burning Tree? That is a choice. I 
think you take either Burning Tree or Collected Company there. I guess I can't. I can still attack into Arcanist here. Mm. They can block here. Oh, I guess they thought sees my collected company here, but then they're pretty open on the flip side. They could double fatal push here, which is kind of bad. Okay, they attack. Let's go. Do I do this main phase? No, I think we do it afterwards. The thing is, I don't kill them. And then this gets around some of their, like... Because even if I hit two Spellbreakers, I'm short one point of damage. Attack me. Why are you scared, opponent? Where are we taking them, folks? Where are we taking them? Let's go, block. I think... Oh, this doesn't matter. Cleave! All right, so that was a game. <laughs> Magma spray, braids. Um, they're not gonna bring in like graveyard hate or like uh, cage, so we're fine there. I actually like Ferocidon, so get rid of these Ambush, get rid of the Gallias, trim one of these. Are you guys bullying Titans more? Um, I still think we like Coco. Probably trim two of these and a cleave on the play. Let's go. Let's go. Titans, I expect your next video to be uh, my Gruel deck. I'm actually going to go Kazandu here. I just don't want my land to get thought seized. Get that Justin Bieber Jaffer hair. Oops. That is not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do both of those. Everything is fine. Well, opponent's not doing much either, so. It's like I drew it up. They can have Fatal Push here. Okay, so they have a Braid. That's fine. We're still pretty far ahead here. Second a Braid. Honestly, think at this point we just keep putting out pressure. I'm guessing their hands just like all gas. 
And the thing is, I can't stomp uh, a thing anyways. An Arcanist. There's a serious con like consideration between getting this ooze into play versus keeping it in hand. Like I can get it up to four toughness. They've already shown two braids. And they're like a ways off from Yeah, for real. Okay, so I'm doing this. I get one eat. It opens me to a braid. So they're showing magma spray. That's fine. That's certainly a card. Well, I think our ramen up ruins will get us there. Thoughtsies themselves. Five wins. Let's go, folks. Should have been 6 0. Punted that mono red game. Just going to stretch for one sec. All right. Reset client. <sighs> Jaffer, we, we got expectations now. We got a threshold we need to hit. All right, we gotta go one and two. Sorry, two and one, not one and two. Please not one and two. Oh no, I'm definitely gonna win this next one and then lose two in a row. Uh, keep. So tight ends, for the low, low price of $9.95 a month, you too can be on the play every game. It's a special emote you unlock once you uh, nine lives enough players. So this could be four color. Could be bat control. Okay, well, either they're dead. Oh, lofty denial. Oh, they're on spirits.
So if we didn't attack with the line of War Elf, we would have been fine. I thought they were on bank control. Can I get a cleave or a stomp, please? That'd be really rad. Best we can do is another... We lose one, but it's otherwise a free attack. Ah. Uh. Yeah, double eagle is going to be tough now. Just don't want to give it the information that we have this line yet. We have questing beasts that can attack. Jeez. Bukka. They have 12 in the air right now. I guess Domri's ambush is pretty decent here. Shrinks down their board. Ah, second Skyclave's annoying. Yeah, they got us. They got us. Uh, let's bring in a Braids, Thundering Rebuke, Magma Spray. Um, Dombri's Ambush might be decent here, actually. Frostodon might actually be okay. I think I like to stomp, cut one of these, cut the Gallias. Still think we want Cleave. I'm going to trim a Coco just in case they bring in Cage. Might trim two Cocos. They very well could... Uh, no, they're probably a Collected Company deck themselves. So I doubt they have Cage. Um, do I want Chandra? Chandra's at least removal. Maybe we trim a cleave. I think I like the Domri's ambush. Maybe trim down one of them. Um, trim one BTE, one Chandra. Let's do it like that. Funny thing, like if that was bank control, we would have been in a lot better spot. We go first. Okay, sounds much better. I'm actually going to put Voltaic Brawler back. I like Ferocidon on two here. This will make any creatures they play a lot more painful. Plus I have the option to double bone crush next turn. Mm. Uh, probably do this. The three toughness is actually kind of annoying. Because even if they go um, Skyclave Apparition, I need to double Bone Crush Giant it. Because of the Supreme Phantom. No Apparition there is nice. So I'm actually just going to point one of these to their face. They could have rattle chains. Okay, I'm 
Magma Spray is nice. I think I do this. If they want to block, I'm happy to trade the Magma Spray. It gets future blockers out of the way. Okay. So we're pretty open now. We're top decking. Take three anyways. This lets him tap down something else, but any creature that comes into play dings him a damage. Got there. Got there. Um, so I think we want another Shonj. Uh, Do I want claim? I think that's a good question. I can play the ooze. Maybe we don't play Domri's ambush. Let's just get through, but they're probably going to like tempo our creatures. I can go Chandra. I just don't want to overload on expensive spells because they'll have tempo. Claim can get around some stuff, but it's not great. Maybe Clothis just in like a race situation. I don't like drawing too many burning trees. Ah, this hand it would be great if we had a forest. If this was like forest, it's a snap keep. Do we draw a land? We have two turns to draw land, plus I have two one drops, so it seems decent. It's pretty obvious Spectral Sailor. Land? Sick. So I do think we need to take the offensive here. Having to shock ourselves twice there feels pretty bad. So I can magma spray this, which is nice. that trade gain us some life now that's probably collected company pre-combat seems kind of loose Cause like now I get to decide if I want to attack in or not. I have a creature in the yard, eh? Yeah. Um, 
don't think it matters, but. Yeah, I probably should have just kept that s spree. Because now I could have attacked through. Can I get a land? Sick. Um, Questing Beast puts um, down pretty low. The fact that none of my creatures can block is kind of annoying. Jeez. Their Cocos have been good. They have choices. Jeez. Two Lords here. I can't attack through. Yeah, they got us. Ah, that one was tough. Don't think the magma spray made much difference there. All right, two up. Let me reset the client. We need to go two zero. So we bet every like tier deck that we are expecting to play against, and we've lost against Spant Spirits, which was not a deck that was on my radar. And Mono Red, which you'll get the occasional, but that was more my punt. Salt Tide was my game one. Played a salt eye player that played pretty loose, and then I had a very timely claim. I wasn't expecting as much Jund, but I was expecting more Rakdos. Like, the numbers from Untapped recently have really suggested Rakdos is the preferred just because of a mana base situation. Jund is favored out against Rakdos, but. Okay, Jengantha. Can't keep a handful of three drop. Well, we're gonna try this. I think I put Cleave back. Let's see if this is the engine deck. Kilkin in here. They have too much mana. Why why you gotta talk for? <laughs> John, now this is what we get. Um still think it's probably right to just do this. Play this tap, say go. So They can escape an Uro if they get it, so I think we need to do this. I have learned little more. 
This potentially allows me to play multiple spells next turn. I was holding this out to kill something, but... The Uro drop. I think we just go face here. Prevent them from gaining the three life. This might just be straight Simic. We haven't seen any red lines out of them. Plus next turn I can Gallia and Bone Crusher Stomp. Sorry about that, chat. My hardest opponent today is the Arena Client. Um, I don't think we want Rebuke. So on the play, take out the Elf, take out the Domri's Ambush. Trim. Kazandu. From a cleave. Uh, six cards to cut. Probably burning trees. They don't attack too well. Um, bone crusher. Collected company. They're not bone crusher. I basically just want to control the creatures on their board. Yeah, I think we do this. I found this matchup pretty good, especially with the abrades and all the graveyard hate we bring post board. Especially if this is Simic, they're not really going to have too many ways to deal with us. to keep I have no deck what the hell oh my god I have no deck what is this bug? I never drew a card for the first turn and I... Is this how I'm gonna get knocked out? This is my like... Break game. That's in no way super annoying. <sighs> well, they have like engine now, so it's kind of annoying. We missed a draw step. I think we get Clothis going next turn. Okay. 
No arrows, decent at least. With the double elf and then paradox engine, I was concerned just with them popping off. So hopefully dodge one turn of arrow. Okay, no arrow there's nice. I can take this out this turn. Then I have company as well. pull out here. It's probably boat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I draw land, okay, they just go engine again. Well, that's certainly a card. This deck's so bad in the face of a braid. Alright, well they got their Uro. They get to escape their Uro. Kind of annoying there. Yeah, I thought they'd get Boat just to control my board. Top deck Uro there was really clutch. Engine out. So this lets me Coco and a braid. So they're gonna paradox here. Now we get to take out their last the braid. Oh, uh, you know what? I should have cocoed in response. In case I drew, um... Hey, James. Thanks for stopping by. 
Okay, another braid's not bad. Five two. Sorry, I forgot to update. I just got the arena bug where it crashed and I had no deck. So I missed the draw step in this game. Uro needs to stay dead. Yeah, I could have. Uh, we were going to braid anyways. Auto tapper kind of screwed that up. But that was a good call. So we're going to hopefully eat this Uro this turn. Attacking with the Elf might have been wrong. 5-2, Keone. I forgot to update it. Let me actually do that now while the opponent spins their wheels. 5-2, we're up a match. Hopefully going to 6-2. Easiest Uro of my life. Galia is pretty sweet here. They block two. Seven eleven. Exaxes six two. Let's go. Let's go. Whew. Yeah, the opponent played it bad. Yeah, uh, Mert Mavis, this is the list I got to Mythic with this month. Yeah, I'm definitely restarting Client. Um, so it's kind of the Rampaging Ferocidon's main are really good against um, like Goblins, Uro Life Gain, stuff like that. And then Sideboard, we kind of become this like Gruel, kind of bigger mid-range combo deck. Good luck, James, with yours. Hopefully we see each other day two. Um, if you're interested, Mert, uh, I posted a sideboard guide with uh, Jaffer MTG on Twitter. Uh, you can check that up on my profile. We did for more of the common matchups, like what we'd side in and out. Okay, so we're... Ah, you came from there. Nice. Yeah, I was, I'm 11 and two, like in ladder with it. Um, my untaps probably messed up the ranking cause I accidentally queued into a ranked match instead of this. So I just auto conceded. Okay. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Opponents on the play. All in, let's go. Mono red is not, okay, goblins. This hand's not great against goblins. If they have a quick start, we're not Super good here. Post board were better. Okay, no play there is good. Kazandu Mammoth next turn. 
I'd love a bone crusher just to kind of disrupt them. Okay, so Muxus next turn could be a thing. Oh. Hmm. So four, eight, ten, fourteen. We're short. No, they don't, cause this. Or no, wait. So four, ten, twelve, fifteen. I'm too short, so I have to go Kazandu. This could keep back against Muxus just so I don't like straight up die on the spot. If they don't get like super nuts, then we're we're good. Okay. That doesn't do it. Yeah, we are probably wrecked by haste. Um, lethal. Let's go. A braids rebuke spray. Cut a Kazandu, cut Domri's Ambush, cut Gallia, cut a Pelt Collector. Let's go. Oh no, I knew it was lethal, but at the same time, I had to like... You know when you're just doing that math like 10 times in your head? It's like 1 plus 1, but you're like, could this equal 7? Okay, they're on the play. We survived the turn four, Moxus. We have removal now. Keep. Okay, enough lands deck. What's the opponent's hand? Okay, we're doing a real good job of drawing nothing but lands. Kill that if you want. Take two. Just thunder. Oh my god, can we stop drawing lands? Make it seem like we have something. I don't want him to untap with uh, Muxus. It's too much value. That's dangerous. Oh my god, we literally just haven't hit a spell.
This is so wild. Yeah, I want Ferocidon. Hoping for Frosted on there. Okay, that's actually really solid. So I want them to make bad blocks here. We know they're drawing a line next turn. It might even be kill Snoop if they don't block. They have to block one thing. Well, they had that card in hand last turn and they didn't cast the Muxus, so we know a mountain's on top. Come on, opponent. Come on. So the play is probably a Braid the Trash Master. So I can abrade one of them, keep it alive. Yeah, that's probably that. Because now we know they draw land. Shit. Yeah, maybe we get rid of Trash Master. This allows them to block with stuff. Can we draw like a non? I want to keep Questing Beast alive. Okay. Never punished. This is the most gruel way to win a match. Oh, Trash Master kills the cleave. Good call, good call. Ah, that's... Ah. Not quite out of the woods yet. I wonder if we, 
We probably just let this go through, right? No, they could sack this goblin. No braid. That might be a braid. Yeah, buddy. Jaffer coming in with a sub. Woo! Holy shit. That one was close. Holy. Alrighty. 7-2, day two, buddy.